No, I'm not a rapper. I'm not a whapper at all, and these are clearly not devil horns. Clearly. If you ask me, the devil looks like the man from KFC. That's what a devil looked like. The guy on the front with the big smile. The guy on the front with the all white suit with the big smile. That's clearly what a devil looks like. Clearly. Without a doubt. Um, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is, so yesterday I did a lot of research and I just did a big equation of hip hop. I did a, like a large equation of hip hop. And I really realized how fucked up hip hop really has become. Like, and you know, it's really bothering me that the, the older rappers are getting offended by the new rappers. It's like, this is like the greatest, like, stupidest thing I've, I've ever witnessed. I really see the older rappers getting mad at the mumble rappers. I see it a lot. But I have to amend the mumble rappers. I have to amend the mumble rappers because one thing I can honestly say about mumble rap, mumble rap has did something extremely good for us. I'm going to tell you what mumble rap has done for us. Mumble rap has made everybody want to party. When you go to a club, you see all the bros in there, nigga, hey, hey, hey. That's a good thing. That's a completely good thing. Because let's really be honest. In the early 2000s, nigga, you went to the club, I shoot your head, nigga. I shoot a nigga dead, bitch ass nigga over there on the side of the club. If a nigga shoot me, I hit him bottle above, bitch ass nigga. Niggas used to be in the club like this. Dog, it's like dead ass, dog. Dog, in the early 2000s, nigga, you guaranteed got shot at the club. Guaranteed. Like, nigga, there was no... Nigga, we used to really say, nigga, gangsters don't dance, nigga. Like, nigga, no, nigga, do not dance, nigga. If you dance, you might get caught slipping. Nigga, don't dance, nigga. You better get in the club like this, nigga. What? Dog, I had to really sit here and I had to think about this. Mumble rappers, mumble rappers, they be having hella guns in the video, but they never rap about shooting guns. Like, niggas be having 40, 50 guns in the video. Niggas be like, turn up, squat, bang. Dra, tra, uh, yeah, yeah. Niggas got guns in the video, Tom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turn up, yeah, squad, yeah, yeah. I walk, I walk, Uber, Uber, yeah, yeah, squad. Dog. I figured it out. I really figured it out. Mumble rap is the best thing that has ever happened to hip hop. It's the best thing that ever happened to hip hop. It's really a good thing we got these little yachties. It's really a good thing we got the oozes. It's really the good thing we got these niggas. It's good. It's a good thing. Because in the early 90s, I li I'm from California. Do you understand that every song I ever grew up to was extremely violent? Shoot that nigga. 
in the motherfucking face. Shoot that nigga in the motherfucking face. Shoot that kid in the motherfucking face. Shoot that girl in the motherfucking face. Shoot everybody. Shoot everybody. Shoot everybody. Shoot everybody. Shoot everybody. Dog. Like, in, nigga, in, like, y'all really think about what the fuck was happening. Fuck money, fuck clothes, fuck school, fuck everything. Shoot, 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 shoot. Fuck everything. Just shoot. Fuck everything. Just shoot. Like, really think about the early, early, like, the 90s. I mean, like, the late 90s and early 2000s. Dog, this shit was wild. I bust your head, boy, with the back of the steel. I whoop your head, boy. My buddy, my buddy, wherever he go, we he go. Used to sell dope on the block, dope on the... Oh, every nigga, what the fuck, dog? Don't really think about this. So look, I had to reevaluate my top rappers. I had to revalue because I used to be like, nigga, my top rappers, nigga, Snoop, nigga, Jadakiss. Nigga, fucking nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, I had to reevaluate my top rappers. I had to reevaluate it. I was like, yo, these niggas had me under a spell. Rolling down the street, smoking Indo, sipping on gin and juice. Lay back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. Roll. What the fuck are you talking about, man? No, I, this used to be a hit, nigga. I used to be like this, nigga. Shit, nigga. She used to be a hit. But now as I get smart and as I wake up and I get conscious, dog, I start to go, holy shit, they fucked us. They fucked us. Everybody fucked us. Every fucking one of these rappers fucked us. All of them. All of the rappers fucked us. All of the rappers fucked us, dog. All of the rappers fucked us. You don't, if you disagree with anything I'm saying, then just get out of my periscope, dog. I'm not going to explain that. If you about to disagree with anything I'm about to say, just get out or I'm going to block you. I don't have no, I have no audacity to explain none of this. But what I'm saying is, when you really think about this, Like, really look at the top, really look at the top 10 rappers. Like, if you go, yo, top 10 rappers on the Billboard charts. Who's the top 10 rappers on the, like, in the world? It, as of right now, in the world, who is the top 10 rappers? That goes from Legends, Greats, and all that. Drake, Snoop, uh, Scarface, uh, you know, Eminem. Uh, Kendrick, top 10, Jay-Z, uh, you know, more of the story is, Tupac was the only fucking rapper that ever talked about something that really fucking matters. The rest of these niggas is fucking coons, dog. Eminem is trash. I don't fuck what you say. Trash. He's a dope lyricist. That's it. He's a dope, Eminem is a dope lyricist. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing. That's it. The rest of these niggas rap about nothing. Tupac is the only nigga that actually rapped about something that really fucking mattered. That's it. He's the only person that had fucking songs that mattered and not only did he have songs that mattered he had a lot of them the nigga was 25 and had like fucking 20 albums and not just 20 albums but albums that really could help us as a people and that doesn't even you got to think to uh, 98 percent i'm 98 90 90 48 uh, percent of tupac fan base is is mexicans dog Let's really think about this. The only nigga that ever... Look, Pac wasn't a lyrical rapper. Nas, see Nas, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with Nas. 
I'm going to tell you what's wrong with Nas. Nas is confused. Nas has always been a confused rapper. He's confused. Nas is confused. He's always been confused. And that's why a stupid ass sign to Jay-Z, then you, you fucking disappeared. Stupid nigga. How you signed to the nigga you beef with, now you disappear. I don't care if you making money on the back end. I don't care if you getting checks. That don't mean nothing. Your stupid ass signed to the nigga you had beef with, and he fucking washed you. Dog, Nas an idiot. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Dog, I don't give a fuck if you send this to him. I don't care. What I'm saying is, really think about this shit. Really think about this shit. Yo, let me tell you how stupid Nas is. Let me tell you how stupid Nas is. Let me tell you. Let me let me really sit here and tell you how stupid Nas is. Nas conscious, right? This is what y'all think. Nas is conscious, right? Why this nigga don't got a conscious label? You signed Davies. Like a nigga that's promoting all the same shit that's destroying us. Like this is shit I'm talking about. You signed a fucking rapper that's promoting the shit that's destroying us. This the shit I'm talking about. Talk, why didn't you why don't you have an entire label for conscious rappers? Like, nah, nigga, I ain't fucking with the rap game no more. Nigga, this is what it is. You feel me? Nigga, this is like, you know what I'm saying? We gonna only promote music that can help. Dog, these niggas, dog. What I'm trying to tell you is. Really look at what's happening. Really look at what's happening, man. So, I started to tell myself this. I had to really think about this. How could you be as big as you are and not try to speak to the world? Think about this. Think about how many times Tupac went to jail. Think about how many times Tupac been shot. Think about how many, think about, nigga, Tupac got shot like seven times on different occasions. Nigga, this has nothing to do with beef in the street. This is fucking government people trying to take this nigga out, dog, because he was the only nigga in the rap game trying his best to wake up the fucking world. Nigga got shot in the head. Nigga got shot seven times. Nigga been jumped. All type of shit happened to this nigga. Because he was the only fucking rapper in the fucking rap game that was like, yo, I'm going to rap about shit that actually fucking matters. The rest of these niggas, nothing, dog. Dog, what the fuck have Nelly ever rapped about? Nelly, my nigga. I don't give a fuck, though. Send it to him. What the fuck? Underlay, underlay, mommy, ee ah, ee ah. Shake your tail feather. Drop down and get your eagle on. Uh, what the fuck are you talking about, dog? Really think about this shit. Then it's the fucked up part about it. Let me tell you what the fucked up part about it is. These niggas get on, right? These niggas get on. They get in position. And then they want to fucking use their money to send niggas to school. That's even worse. So you get on, you get the money, then you, oh, look at me. I'm paying for kids to go to school and could get their college tuition. That's even worse. That's even worse because now you helping the man indoctrinate the kids even more. Dog. I had to really sit back and think about this. I had to really sit back and think about this. Let's let's go back to Flint. Let's take Flint. Let's take Flint, Michigan. All right, it was a water crisis in Flint, Michigan. Nigga, do you know I'm from Watts? The fucking Jordan Pride, I'm from the fucking Watts, my nigga. Do you know we grew up off lead water, nigga? I don't think there's a single clean water fountain in Watts. Nigga, I drunk water hose water my entire life, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, I drunk water hose water. Nigga, you could see the lead. Nigga, if, if you ask me, nigga, it was pencils coming out the water fountain. Pencils, like actual pencils coming out. Dog, but that ain't the point. So Flint, Michigan pop off, right? And this is what these stupid niggas do. All these stupid niggas donate water bottles. 
Nigga, do you know water bottles is not good for you? Do you know what's inside water bottles? They get clearly sell the black, nigga. A certain level of fluoride, all type of shit is in water bottles. Then it's the fucked up part. Niggas is like, look at me. I donated, nigga, I donated 20 million in water bottles. Look at me. I donate 50 million in water bottles. Look at me. I donate 10 million in water bottles. Nigga, all y'all had to do was put y'all money together to fix the problem. All y'all had to do, nigga, if you put 20 million in, he put 20 million in, he put 20 million in, nigga, you could build a fucking dam. You could have a whole dam in Michigan, like it, a whole new water supply. Nigga, you can have an actual new dam. Fuck is you talking about, dog? Nigga, like, let's really be honest, my nigga. Instead of buying niggas water bottles, you know what y'all should have did? Y'all, nigga, you, need, you don't even got to build a dam. Nigga, y'all should have went to every house on the block and bought each individual person a water filter. If it was that simple. Nigga, them shit's like 20 bucks. Nigga, you put it on the tip of the fucking sink faucet and you put the little filter in there and filter the water. All you have to do is buy everybody a fucking water filter. But no, no, they want to donate their water bottles. Look, look at this shit, dog. Look at what the fuck is going on. Look at what's going on, dog. Like, am I the only person that see this shit? Dog, I ain't slowing shit down to understand Nelly. All I know is drop down, get your eagle on. I don't know shit else. Dog. I, I get it. I get it, bro. I get what's happening, man. Like, I completely understand what's happening. So, the more and more I sit down and I go, damn. Look at all the artists that really tried Tupac really tried. It's over for Pac. Look, look, let's get something clear. Don't ever debate Tupac and Biggie. Never. Let's get this clear real quick before we jump subjects. Do, don't ever in your life debate who's better. Tupac or... Don't. It's not close. It's not close at all. Biggie, if Biggie would have still been alive, nigga, his career be over, dog. He did nothing big, nothing if Biggie was still alive, he would have faded out like the rest of these niggas. This is actual facts. Because he rapped about nothing. Gucci sweaters, Louis, a, a bunch of nothing. He would have faded out like every fucking rapper that rapped about a bunch of nothing. Yeah, he was a dope lyricist. He was okay. Yada, yada, yada. He would have faded out. He rapped about fucking nothing. Not one fucking Biggie song small that fucking song that would actually stick with the world. Faded out. Nigga was, nigga, big as ever, black and ugly as ever. What are you talking about, you stupid ass nigga? You should have said, nigga, black like a clean. My skin filled with melanin, telanin, summer, summer, summer with the gelatin. Uh, nigga, what are you talking about, you stupid fat nigga? Dog, I, I, right now, I got no respect for nobody, dog, because you're not listening to what's happening. Nigga's not listening to what's happening, man. Like, nigga's not listening to what's happening, dog. That's why I said, yo, I really respect pot. To the fucking, like, I respect Pac to the fullest, dog. Because Pac, Pac actually was like, yo, this is what it is. But you know what make Pac so important? You know what make Pac so important? What make Pac so important is that it wasn't the music. That ain't what make Pac important. It ain't, the, it was never the music. It's the side interviews. It's the shit he did when he wasn't in the studio. This shit he did when he wasn't in the studio. All his interviews, all his TV shows, all his radio station shit, all the shit he was putting out to the world, all the unseen interviews, all the shit that he was walking, trying to get the East and West together, all the shit he walking through New York, getting the people together. That's the shit that made this. This nigga was damn near Jesus, dog. The rest of these niggas, the rest of these niggas, Get these niggas out of here. The rest of these rappers, I look at the rest of these rappers and I go, damn. Why? Why everybody didn't follow Tupac lead? Why everybody didn't follow Public Enemy lead? Why? Why everybody didn't follow Lauryn Hill lead? 
Why everybody didn't follow Lisa Left Island? Why? No, they not lost. They not lost. No, they not lost and they they already did. I figured it out, dog. This shit is really get out, dog. None of these niggas are real people. Dog, I met Snoop. I look in Snoop eyes and I go, this nigga ain't even real. He not even a real person. Like this shit look like a shell. Dog, I don't believe none of these niggas real, dog. I like I don't think none of them are actual real people. Dog. I met everybody you can possibly think of. I met everybody. I, I, I'm a fucking celebrity, dog. I've been in a room with everybody you could possibly think of. I look at these niggas in their eyes, dog, and they don't have souls. Y'all see, y'all see my mind. Y'all see what I read, dog. I look at these niggas in their eyes. They don't have souls, bro. They don't. They don't have souls. No, J Cole different. J Cole is my J Cole is my nigga. Cole different. But you see where they put Cole at? How the fuck this nigga go platinum by himself, no features, don't win, no Grammys, no nothing? You see what they doing to Cole? You see what they doing to Cole? You see what they doing to Cole? They trying their best to, to muzzle Cole, but they can't. You see what they doing to Cole? They trying. You see what they doing to Abso? You see what they doing to shit? Look, I'm going to tell you why they, don't, why they let Kendrick move. I'm going to tell you why they let Kendrick move. I'm going to tell you why. There's only one reason why they let Kendrick move the way he moved. Because he's a fucking backpack rapper. He's a backpack rapper and he promotes Christianity. That's the only reason why they're going to let Kendrick fucking move. My final, final, my final, final, with the lyrical, lyricals, mirror, miracle, final, final, final. It's high, high, it's high, high, high. They're going to let Kendrick go because that shit don't mean nothing either. That shit gonna go, dog. They gonna let it go because it don't mean nothing. No, I don't rap like Kendrick Lamar at all. At all. The dream too deep. They weapon inception with etymology. Syntax brackets for black kids. You see the college fee. No sorry, no apologies. Semiotics to plot it be. God shit is what gotta sleep. Blind faith what I gotta see. Preside in a war, write in the Torah. Explorer, fight in a Dora. Old man, triton who pour in the GMOs to the poor. Creating the GMOs. The more gems that I drop, they in bad shape for the show and tell. Hell, they lying out the ass about the history. White powers, light showers is a mystery. Them Akashic records is past checkers. And we ain't past checking the past, the last weapon. X, MLK dreams of kiss the ring of the Pope, Lil Caesar defense, they piece of gate in the growth, 16 year old, 16 means sextus, sex in a little boy, the Vatican secret wrecked them, say don't eat the pig, yet they harvest the pigment, deep web shopping, Bitcoin for the shipment, they IP encrypted, we'll never see them trolling, how can theft be a crime when America was stolen, dog don't you ever in your fucking life say I rap like Kendrick Lamar, nigga I'll beat your ass, fuck is you talking about nigga? Don't you ever in your fucking life say I rap like Kendrick Lamar, nigga, I'll fuck you up. Anywho, back to what I was talking about. Back to what the fuck I was talking about. They let Kendrick go. Back when I was in Compton, Prompton, I was shooting niggas back. The homie got killed, Pyro, blood. Oh yeah, they gonna let Kendrick go. They gonna let him go, because that's what he promoting. They gonna let him go. They gonna let Kendra go. But look. I get it. I get it. I get what's going on. I get what's going on. So Pete. Peep, peep this. I've been around everybody. I've been around everybody. Abso is one of, Abso out of everybody in the music industry. 
everyone in the entire music industry, Absol is the only one that is talking about shit that really fucking matters. Joy Badass, he did this shit, Black America, oh, the, 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 the. we used to be slaves, the, 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 the. shut the fuck up, man. Nigga, we used to be way more than slaves, shut the fuck up. Alright. Yo, Kid Cody talked up Kid Cody talked about the shit he was supposed to talk about. You seen what the fuck happened to him. You seen what happened to Kid Cody when he started really talking about the shit he was supposed to talk about. You seen what happened to him. Out of here. Out of here. Kyrie Irving Kyrie Irving said he believed it was a flat earth. They lost. Flat what? Oh, nigga, you niggas losing every fucking series from here on out. Dog. Really look at what's happening. No, don't say Cootie started. Look, man, hey, dog, when you really learn some shit, come back, dog. You got to go. I can't take that nigga no more, dog. I can't take niggas like that no more. I can't. I can't take niggas like that. I can't take those type of the program niggas. You gotta go, dog. I just can't. Nah, he don't know no better. He don't know no better. I fuck with J Electronica, but you gotta look at where J Electronica is. You gotta look at where J Electronica is. You gotta look at it. Look at where his career is. It's in that same elevator Cootie career in. Cuddy, whatever, kissing the same. It's, 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 look, a lot of niggas in that same boat. Look, look who else in that same boat. Immortal Technique in that same boat. Few niggas in that same boat. They in that boat, dog. Look, let me tell you some. Sh let me tell you some of the craziest shit that has ever happened to the world, dog. A lot of niggas. All right, let's let's go back to the movie Get Out. Let's go back to the movie Get Out, right? All right. Do y'all understand how real this shit is? Do y'all understand who the Kardashian family is? Do y'all really know who the family is? Hmm? Do y'all really know who this family is? Do y'all know this family been in the shits like before OJ and all of them? Do y'all know who this family really is? Do y'all know that? I don't think y'all really know what's really going on with this family. So peep this. Peep this. I want you to really think about this. Think about. Think about this one thing. Think about all the niggas that got fucked from dating a Kardashian. Think about this. Now I want you to peep this. Lamar Odom did a full interview trying to tell the world. Yo dog, the family is fucked. Go look at it. It might not even be online no more. It probably took it off. Dog, I'm telling y'all. Dog, is something wrong with this fucking family. They crazy. Dog, help me. Dog, he did a fucking interview telling the world something is fucking going on in the house, dog. He did an interview a fucking couple of days later. They found that nigga on fucking damn near dead. Then, after they found the nigga damn near dead, then he, all of a sudden, he didn't die. And then after he didn't die, then where is he? Where the fuck is Lamar Odom? Where? Where is Lamar Odom? Where is he? Why hasn't he said nothing? Why hasn't an interview? Why hasn't TMZ said nothing? Why hasn't anyone said anything to Lamar Odom or about Lamar Odom? Where? Dog, didn't I just block this nigga? Wait, 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 wait. Didn't I just block this same nigga? This Jake fed the game? Wait, dog, how you back in here? All right, I'll let this page stand there, dog. All right, now I see that that's like most definitely an agent type of page. So we're just going to let it stay in there. I ain't even going to block it no more. But Pete. Peep this. Really think about this. Really think about this. 
Lamar Odom tried to tell the world what was going on, dog, and they really damn near killed him. And after he survived the killing, they made sure that you ain't heard a single thing from Lamar Odom. Nothing. 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 Let's go back. Let's go deeper than that. Let's go to, um, what's the nigga from B2K name? What was the nigga from B2K? Uh... Uh, J was it J Bug? One of them niggas, Raz B. Let's go back to Raz B. Raz B came out the gate telling all the business. Nigga Chris Stoke touched me. He fucked me. He fucked everybody. Nigga he raped us. What they do to that nigga? Shut your ass up, nigga. Don't be telling. Marcus Houston. All y'all niggas got butt fucked. All of y'all. All of y'all. Chris Stokes fucked all of them, dog. He told the world. Yep. The nigga was online crying. He was online crying. I looked in this man. Dog, I know people who got souls and I know people who don't got souls. Dog, I looked at this man in his eyes. Remind you, I know these niggas, dog. They used to come to the pit and all that shit back in the days. Raz B, J Bug, nigga, Marcus Houston, nigga, Amarion, all them niggas used to be there. Dog, this nigga was online crying his heart out, dog. Like, please help me, y'all. Niggas just laughed at him. Oh, this nigga got raped. <laughs> he was online crying. Dog, this man is out here fucking people and raping us and shit. And, like, y'all not going to speak up? Like, somebody fucking help. You know what they did? Put him on World Star, made him look like a clown, erased. Dog, this shit is fucked up, dog. It's a lot of fucked up shit going on in this world. So, peep, let's take Medea. Let's really look at what Medea is doing to the world. Subconsciously telling niggas you could be a bitch. Subconsciously programming. Oh, yeah, nigga, you could be a bitch. Go ahead, black people, be a bitch. Be a good one at that. And not only that, not only be a good one, be a old ghetto bitch. Dog, look at, look at, yo, am I the only person who see all of this shit? Am I the only person that see all of these subliminal little traps, though? Am I? Dog, really look at what's going on. Why hasn't none of these black niggas made a big movie yet? Think about this. Think about this. I want you to really think about this. All right? Think about this. Why hasn't all of these black niggas got together and made a dope-ass movie? Like, Spike Lee. Why hasn't Spike Lee said, you know what? Dear black people. Let's get, let's put all of our money together in one pot and make an epic film called, nigga, The Black People Matrix. Let's put a film together called The Black Matrix. Or some other shit. Like, why isn't there no black movies like that? Why isn't there, like, yeah, you know, there's a few black people in the Matrix, whatever. But why isn't there no Inception? Or why isn't there no Cloud Atlas? Or why isn't there no fucking Avatar? Or why isn't there no fucking super conscious black movies? Like, why? Why? All we get is boys in the hood, menace to society, nigga, uh, nigga, paid in full. Nigga, the, the, all the fucking stupid that Madea, uh, Soul Food, uh, uh, Last Man, uh, uh, all these stupid ass Juice, uh, 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 Belly, uh, 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 Barbershop, Barbershop 2, Friday, next Friday, buh, buh, buh. Dog, my nigga, get your dumb ass out of here.
dog, really look at what's happening, man. Really look at what's happening. Really, really take a real look at what's happening to the world from our perspective. Everything is designed. Nigga, Bill Cosby, dog. Yeah, see, y'all don't know the truth. Y'all only know the surface. Y'all only know the surface of what's happening with Bill Cosby. You only know the surface. This man was about to buy a TV station, dog. This man was about to buy a TV station. You know what that meant? Now, Claire. Let's take Claire. You remember his girl? What was That was her name, right? From the Cosby show, Claire, right? Have y'all seen any of her interviews? That bitch is the most conscious bitch in the game. Have you seen any of her interviews? Have you seen any of Claire actual interviews like outside of like the Cosby show? This bitch was like, no, nah, I don't send my kids to school. My kids not going to church. None of that religion is bullshit. Idolize all this shit. For, like this bitch is literally one of the most conscious bitches that I've ever witnessed online. So you got to think, this is Bill Cosby right hand motherfucker. So what I'm saying is, look. Bill Cosby was about to buy a TV show and make an outlet. He's about to buy a TV show to make an outlet for our kind. What do they do? Rape. Same thing they do with every black person that's about to fucking do something big. Rape. It's the first thing they do. Rape. That's the first thing they do. Rape. Every time a black person is about to get in a nice position. Rape. He raped somebody. Dog, then the fucked up part about it, they took his stat he took his star up from Hollywood. Before he got found not guilty, they took his star up. Like what type of shit is going on? So what they want to do is ruin his image in the world's eyes. Ruin his image. That's what they do. They just gotta ruin the image. Ruin his image. Dog, how did they take his star up before they realized that he wasn't guilty? Then they still can't prove it was true, so they just gonna mistrial. We think you did it. We want the world to think you did it. So we're not going to say you're not guilty. We're just going to let you go. We're not going to say you're not guilty, but we're just going to let you go. And the world is going to continue to say, oh, yeah, Bill Cosby's a rapist. Dog, Prince. Prince owned his entire catalog, Kilt. Prince was one of the sexiest niggas I ever witnessed and one of the healthiest looking niggas I ever witnessed. Nigga, nigga was 100% vegan. What? Nigga was, nigga, Prince had the key to life. The fuck you niggas talking about? This nigga, Prince had the keys to life. This nigga took a bath, nigga, in uh, placenta juice. They said Prince used to order gallons of placenta juice. And, and bathe in it. Dog, this nigga was going to live forever. No, you know that shit you be in when you a baby to help you grow and all that nigga? That nigga had that at the house. Dog, this nigga was 70 plus years old and look every bit of 25. You know, let me quote his exact words. We'll never be able to win. I'm